queen. I have summoned you because you're the best architect in Alexandria. Not that that's saying very much. Your buildings crumble. They are the laughing stock of those who don't live in them. Well, you see, actually, what I like to build is pyramids. Silence! You have three months to make good. You are to build a magnificent palace here in Alexandria for Julius Caesar. What? Three months? If you succeed, I'll cover you with gold. If not, I will have you thrown to the crocodiles. Go. Three months. Why, I'd need someone who could work magic to help me do that. A magician. Oh, I got it. I know the very man. I'm going to train him to carry my nails. In the meantime, how about a book? Where do I find the druid can fix? Tree there picking mistletoe. Again, a fix. What a pleasant surprise. Meet my dear old friend Edifice. He's an architect from Alexandria. Well, I've been told to build a palace for Caesar within three months. And if I don't, Cleopatra's throwing me to the crocodiles. Are crocodiles good to eat, Asterix? Be quiet. And if you won't help me, I'll never get it done. <laughs> now, you mustn't cry, Oedipus. I'm coming back to Egypt with you. By Osiris, do you mean it? We're off on a nice sea voyage, Dogmatics. You're not going to take him along. Then why not, Mr. Asterix? Because he is far too small for such a long journey, Mr. Obelix. So you go and pack. Oh, sure, I'm just an extra to fill in. No one ever listens to me. My friends, the best of luck to you. And I hope the sky never falls on your heads. I will now sing for you a little farewell tune. Oh! Philistine. <laughs>